day 14, 9.48 a.m. Michael is in the kitchen. Rula and George are at the seating area. Any trips away, George, when you after this? No. Anything lined up? No, I've... Are uh, you at home base for a while? I've cleared my diary... Where's Parliament for, at the moment? Where are we in the term? Uh, it started on the 10th or 11th, I think. And uh, so right. it's back now. But my main focus is in the constituency for the next three months, four months, because we've got the council elections coming up in May. All right. And we're making a big push. The rest of the housemates are asleep. Tonight, either Dennis, Faria or Pete will be evicted from the Big Brother house. Someone's going to be executed today. One of the minorities has to war. Oh, well. Did you notice Faria yesterday during a weeping session? She looked like she should have been washing saris in the stream and beating them with a rock. And then ten minutes later, she got all dolled up. And then later on, she put even more makeup on and got even more dolled up. The people outside will have noticed all of that. All I of hope that. so. Have faith, in, have faith in the people. But it's not a competition for me. I don't give a no, shit. exactly. And because Korea's coming here to re rehabilitate her image because the football player thing, now she's trying to get Dennis. So she must have a thing about sportsmen with big lad balls. It was a big mistake for her. I want people to see the real me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's arranging to go stay with him in LA. I want to see the real me. Show me someone who kicks or bounces a ball and I've got my legs spread. Ten forty-three AM. Pete, Ruler, Faria and Preston are at the seating area. Well, I was saying earlier that scientifically hugs make you live longer. I said I that saying, a week ago. Did you read that? I've heard did that come out? A hug a day keeps the blues at That's the right. Yeah. I never saw my dad hug my mum and he never hugged yeah, me in his said. life. And I just thought, okay. And look how you turned out. Yeah. And I went to <laughs> Japan and I bought him a Rolex that made Jimmy Savile's look like a, you know, a burnt out light bulb. But I thought, I'll get a response for this. And when I got back straight off the plane, I unpacked it with they are dad. He went, well, thank you. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hug time! Oh, that's what I call a proper hug. Hug time. Three way hug. <laughs> now, George, excuse me, we haven't had a hug this morning. We haven't, my dear. And I know that this is here. I mean it from the bottom of my bottom. <laughs> More sincerely, folks. <laughs> George, okay, from the bottom. You know what? I'm sorry, but George has to hug me now. Uh, uh, George is going to hug me now. Right. Uh, Thanks, sir. Can I have a hug now, please? Yes, my dear. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hugs, Bill. Tracy hasn't had a hug. That means you've got one hour to live before I rip your fucking gonads out. Hug for Dennis. Last night, Dennis. Oh, there you go. Pete, come on, I'm not going to touch your face. <laughs> We're the right height, though. <laughs> yeah, I know, that makes a difference. A bang. Michael? Oh, my God. <laughs> Give me a hug, Tracy. Yeah. But now we have to queue up for them. There you go. Hey, mate. Oh, what is occurring? Twelve twenty nine PM Chantel, Faria and Maggot are in the spa. Yeah. You speak Welsh, don't you? You don't. You don't. Oh can your mum can your parents know? I'm from I come from South Wales, yeah. 
It was never encouraged. Really? In school. It is now. There's a lot of Welsh schools cropping up and it's, it's back on the agenda. Do you live anywhere near Dundee? Dundee's in Scotland. Dundee's in Scotland, oh. darling. I thought that was Welsh for some reason. The rest of the housemates are in the house. Oh. What I gotta say, you know, I just have a hard time telling the fact that I know the script before it happens, and it's just, and it's very, it's very. How, how can you know that? You, you you can second guess the production. Unless unless you are you working in conjunction with the Big Brother? I, I, can, I can pretty much see an outline. You see an outline. I mean, you can guess. If you couldn't see an outline, the conversation that was brought up yesterday when it came up. You, you, mean, you mean that was set up to come up? Like? No, no, that was set up, no. You set people in the house to, to, to bring that element in here. I will. That's it. it, I'm just saying though, if a person dislikes it. something, would you keep it on his will or her will to stay in, a, in, a, in this environment? <laughs> Nobody's keeping anybody against their will. Who are you talking about, Pete? Are you talking about Pete? Who are you, who are you talking about? I'm just talking. Are you well, just generalising? I'll generalise. I'll, I'll generalise and, and give you my general answer is that and if the show wasn't really threatened, I'd leave them on. If the, so, if, see, if, you, if about, you see, you go about this a commercial way now. See, you're in that TV shit now. I'm just saying, realistically. Well, I only work in TV uh, shit. Uh, I mean, I don't work in your shit. What's your shit? I'm just saying, I'm saying you work in your shit. What's your shit then? See, like, you, you're in TV shit. Why don't you work in TV shit? I don't do basketball shit. I got you, take it personal now, ain't you? No, because you're talking crap. I'm not talking crap. I said, I said, don't take it personal. I said, this is a conversation. This has nothing to do with personal things. Subside that and have a conversation. I just I gave you an answer. You're not happy with it. I'm not. This is such a non-issue. It's a world It's such a non-conversation. He sat down there and he just he just tried to line me up. It's all right. I mean, I've been here before. I'm not lining you up. You think you're the first person I've had sit down and have a conversation like this? Do it like I said. I've never been in this situation before. I've never had a conversation with or without a camera. Dude, I can do this to you every day, and every day we can go out here outside this place right here and have a beer every fucking day. It don't matter to me. It don't matter. I think it's just, I'm just making stress striking conversation. That's it. Then why, why, why are you going, it's television shit then? Why are you saying I'm that? I just said just making conversation. Oh, so that's conversation, isn't it? That's making oh, conversation. Right. You know. Sounds like uh, being a bit provocative to me, but, you know, maybe it's not. It's not. No? It's not. Not at all. Cool. But it's like every time somebody strike up a conversation that you think is controversial, that's a fucking issue. It's, like, it's not an issue, just a conversation. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. Well, it it depends on the time, and your time was aggressive. I'm not talking about aggressive, guy. No, no, you've gone into, you, you've shot it down a level to then turn it around on me. And that's very clever. I mean, it's not that clever. I'm not. If it was that clever, then I'd be really upset oh, by it. I'm... But, you know. Do you know what? I can't be asked. That's got a lot less coffee in it. That's fine. That's brilliant. I'm not going to enter into that shit, so... If you want to have that same conversation with somebody else, have it with somebody else, but don't have it with me. And also, don't make statements about, like, yesterday's uh, wasn't yesterday, when it quite clearly was. You choose to back off, and the others choose to back off. When you quite clearly were given a chance to have it settled. You backed off. Let's have a conversation, let's have a laugh, enjoy yourself, but you're making a big deal. I haven't threatened you yet. So I'm just letting you know it ain't, ain't, ain't that serious with me. You just took it the wrong way, like you, you, like, like, like you always do. You take it the wrong fucking way, sensitive. Why are you correct us if we were taking it the wrong way? You know, when we asked you to talk about give your side of the argument yesterday, why you decided not to? It wasn't my argument. Well, we were led to believe that it was, that that you felt that there'd been some sort of affront. And I just don't understand why, when we all asked you to give your side of whatever was happening, why you didn't want to. That's what interests me. I never opened my mouth and said that it was about race or color, no Asian or black person would win the show. I never said that. That's beside the point. What's Isn't happening? Dennis's point is that he, that he doesn't have a side in the argument. It wasn't his argument. If you persist in saying to someone, I want to hear your side of the argument, when they actually don't have a side of the argument, they didn't make an argument in the first place, it was somebody else who told you that they had an argument, in a way you're asking them to prove a negative, you're asking them to stick a 
overstated. If he's being 100% frank, which I believe he is. But you know, George, sometimes, although you are the cleverest and the best speaker here, sometimes you take the voice away from somebody who wants to follow another direction. That's an easy, easy one to solve. I'll sit over here. No, why, why walk away now? No, it's I'm not... just saying it's easy to solve. I'll just absent myself from it. I just felt that you were bordering on using your superior command of language to bully him and badger him. That's what I felt. So I intervened to try and stop it because I felt it was unfair. I felt Dennis was making a statement. He's not Shakespeare. Not he doesn't make big speeches. I thought his statement was clear. You're going on the back of the fact that he was goading me. No. Come on, he was boarding me. I yeah. just said that. Yeah, I know. Now I'm going to smoke. <laughs> 3 42 pm. Big Brother has set the housemates a task to paint self portraits. The portraits must express who they are, both inside and out. If housemates complete the task, they'll be rewarded with alcohol, cigarettes and cigars after tonight's eviction. I want a bigger canvas. Yeah. Well, it keeps us quiet, doesn't it? <laughs> Dennis, don't let this one trouble you. Did you use my brush? Oh, here he goes again <laughs> with his fucking boundaries. Well, that's a question. Your hairbrush. But I didn't use your paintbrush. That, no. Did you use my condom? No. <laughs> 4 40 pm. One hour later, Big Brother has gathered housemates at the seating area to explain their self-portraits to the rest of the group. Hi, this is me. Yeah, right, and the reason this is me is because I'm bright, but not, in, as, not as bright as in clever bright, as in bright, bright, colourful bright, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, makeup, because I like bright makeup, the earrings, because I love earrings. Um, just the whole bright thing is going on at the moment. Um, the rosy cheeks, I don't know, just my smile because I'm happy, um, bright, 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 <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, very Aww. good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for some strange reason, for the first time in my life, my heart's beating like you wouldn't believe, I don't know why. Um, this is me. You would look at this and say, like I would always say, what or why? What and why because the coloring is just sort of faded. It's kind of muted. There's a lot of craziness going on. It may look a little bit cross-eyed. It just may look weird and fuzzy. But the most important thing about this painting, throughout all the craziness and all the weirdness and the confusion and the I don't know what she was trying to do, I want you to see definitely that there is a heart there. Because I am a person who is full of love and heart and red and soul mixed in throughout all of the haziness, it is there, and it is in here. Well done. <laughs> this is a self-portrait of me as I am now, right at this moment in my life. And uh, so for me, the eyes are the soul of the world. And so that's why I made them very dominant. And uh, if uh, this is the actual soul here, of my shoe, which is now the nose. And there's a little bit of gum on the sole of the shoe, because sometimes the sole gets stuck in coming out and being open. And there's up there in the clouds, you see there's a little tiny alter ego, me. Yeah, that's, that's a little tear to show that I, I've learned in here as well, especially, because uh, I based it on being here, that it's, it's okay to cry Aww. without... Uh, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Bring out your, bring out your inner child. <laughs> inner child. As you can see, I'm, I drew a portrait of uh, something where my four-year-old would draw. Um, I got uh, some indifference going on here, you know. I got, on one side, I have uh, a little bit of the, uh, you know, anger, you know, lashing out, bleep, 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 whatever. And you got the other side, it's more like uh, passion, uh, uh, missing some, some emotions, some uh, tenderness and caringness in, in the life, and uh, uh, make it short and sweet. There's always two sides of the story, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But, uh, but one thing about it, though, I'm always going to have love. Good for you, sir. Okay, this portrait of me uh, is a face-on portrait from the front because I like to confront things face-on. Uh, I've drawn myself with a long neck because sometimes I do stick my neck out and that's representative in this picture. Um, the background goes, uh, the brush strokes all in the same uh, direction because I like to go with the flow. Uh. Thank you. Five thirteen PM. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you little kid. Big brother has called Dennis to the diary room. Yo yo. What up, what up, what up? Hello, Dennis. There you are again. What up? How are you today? I'm fine. <laughs> Dennis, how do you feel about the impending eviction? Like I said last night, I said, you know what, once you leave the house, <clears throat> you could take a, a piece of um, the uh, elements that you had here, take them with you, evaluate it, and move on. Who do you think will go? Probably me, maybe. <laughs> Who knows, me? You know, maybe... Uh, the people don't like me as much out there. I'm just too, uh, <clears throat> too free spirit. I'm just too, uh, I'm too honest. I'm just too straightforward. And I think the people here in London have a, have um, somewhat of a conservative side here, some of a wild side, some of a devious side, some of a decadent side. And uh, I think a lot of conservative people here don't like some of the things that maybe people like me or some other people in the house don't have like to uh, like to hear. You could say that I would like. To, uh, no, Chantel to go. I would like um, people that are that are weak, weak-hearted and weak-minded to leave the house, and people that that's, that that will stay fast and stay strong and, and just stay to their guns, hang in and just battle it out. Who in the house would you describe as weak-hearted or weak-minded? I say pretty much everybody here. I think everyone here <clears throat> can say certain things, but you can just look through the core and it's like it's getting to you. Let's get into you. I mean, I can understand that people are very emotional with certain things outside outside this house that they want to go out and, and uh, keep in contact with. I understand that, but you, you came in here and you wrote your name on the dotted line and said, you know, I'm coming here and try to survive it and, and go through the end and, and try not to, to self-destruct. And when you start self-destructing, people see that. And it's like, oh, well, okay, great. <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, you have to have a strong will to... Uh, <clears throat> Survive in the jungle, and um, most of these people are really breaking down, and and things are crumbling. Nine thirty-five p.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates in the living room for tonight's eviction. Big Brother house, this is Davina. No. You have <laughs> to the floor. Please do not swear. <laughs> Dennis. Faria and Pete. The lines are closed, the votes have been counted and verified. And I can now reveal that the second housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother house is... Faria! Oh. 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 
big bow in it, didn't I? Oh. Thank you. Oh, I'm, right. I'm sorry. I'm actually really <laughs> jealous and resentful, you lucky bitch. You got the whole team to go through. <laughs> See you soon. See you really soon, you lucky. Bye. Bye bye, Maria. Yes. Bye bye. 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 Bye Four, three, two, one. Faria, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Okay. Faria, you have been evicted. Please leave the Big Brother house. Where's she going to go? She's going to That's our boo. Oh, there she's. Wait, right. there ain't no getting rid of you, is there? <laughs> <laughs> like the bad penny. Oh, <laughs> like a bad penny, keep turning up. What are you crying for? Oh, yeah. No, it's just sad. I hate goodbyes. Oh, Lord, you didn't cry last time. Yeah, I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't cry last time, David. She didn't really want to go. Oh, you. Well, you getting all nice for? Well, well done, I wanted to go. Oh, I know you didn't. Know yes, me. I did. You can't well, read me so that well, well today. Half, half. You can't read me that well. Well done, big man. Because she, she almost kind of felt like she didn't feel like she was worth being chosen to be here. And I was telling her that she has a right to be here just as much as anybody else. Mm. And then she was, she was telling me how much she struggled with her whole situation, how she was known in the world, in the world in here. I, she, it was really hurtful for her. 10.17 p.m. It's been 36 minutes since Faria became the second housemate to leave the celebrity Big Brother house. Oh, well. Let's make the best of it, eh? Where's the booze and the fags and the cigars? No fucking clue, mate. They haven't delivered. Ruler's face is like thunder. Why? She looks as miserable as Al. Why? Don't know. Can't you notice? Oh, is that because why? Is it because of the reason I think? Me. Aww, your hair's got all flat. Hmm. Where is Chicks? Look at this. I miss her. I really like her. Yeah. Yeah. And I think she'll have a fucking off. I think she'll have low, like, people, because of what she's, you know, because she's already the enemy, isn't she? In a lot of people's eyes. Is she still? Well, I don't know, but I know she has been. I really know very little about the press that she had because there were quite a few of them. She wasn't the only one. No. It's all balls, isn't it? Do you want help unpacking, sugar? Huh? Do you want help <laughs> unpacking? Not yet, I know. I'll get it mixed up out of the suitcase as I need it. George. <laughs> Ruler's face is like thunder. Did you notice Ruler's mood? She was like psychotic in there. But now she's resorted to sticking a flower in her hair. She's really competitive, it makes me screech. Her face sunk. She looked directly over at me when it was for her. And she's looking at me like that. Oh. She's clearing to have known all along. But... No, she's in a bad mood now. She keeps mm. giving me the evil eye. If she starts on me tonight, I'm going to be so offensive that she'll nominate me again. Getting on my wick. Yeah, but she's going to start on me tonight because I'll say something I'll show me off. So I'm going to say you miserable, dried out old husk. Ten forty p.m. Chantelle, Preston, Maggot, and Tracy are in the kitchen. Say something funny. What? Say something funny. Like what? What's the capital of Luxembourg, Chantal? <laughs> Brussels. <laughs> capital of Scotland. Edinburgh. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, capital of France. Brussels or Belgium? Brussels. Belgium's a country. Okay. Um, 
Paris. Yes. Pete is in the bedroom. You all right? Yeah, just not going to get shit faced because I've got to get the suitcase, haven't I? It's a bit mean. They're playing a game of make Chantel look like a wanker out there. Who? They Who's are. playing it? Um, Maggot's just asking him, asking her what the capital cities of every country is. Doesn't mean she's a wanker. What's she supposed to be, a geography teacher? Yeah, exactly. She's but it's just obvious that he's win. just doing it. I don't know, it just doesn't matter. She's smart anymore. enough to win. Yeah, I know. She'll fucking win this anyway. No problem. She's amazing, though. She doesn't get down, ever. No. She's no. just always a little ray of sunshine. Isn't no, she? yeah, I've, I've think, I love her. I think she's wicked. Eleven fifty PM. Big Brother has gathered the house mate at the dining table. This is Big Brother. Would George and Preston come to the diary room? Oh, oh my god. Ominous. There you go, Preston. Preston. George and Preston. Preston. Why George and Preston though? Because they want them. Why George and Preston? Ours not to reason why, ours but to do like or die. <gasps> oh. oh my god! Hello, George. Hello, Preston. Hello, big brother. I don't like this. George, at 11.09 yesterday morning, you said the following to Preston. Oh. I nominated one black person because that black person was attacking constantly the other black person. <gasps> That's how non-racist it is. Preston. Yes. At 11.09 in the same conversation, you said to George, but I nominated, probably not allowed to say it, but I nominated two black people, but the thought hadn't even crossed my mind for a second. It's fucking ridiculous. George, in a further conversation at 11.53, you said, and I didn't nominate Dennis. In fact, the opposite. Oh, okay. This is vicious. Oh, that's vicious. As you both know, one of the fundamental rules of Big Brother is that housemates are forbidden from discussing oh, nominations. Oh, oh, oh. As punishment, you must now nominate three housemates oh, who will definitely face the public vote. Oh, shit. Oh, you fucking... Oh, my God. Yes. You must both Dennis. agree on three housemates to face the public vote. Oh, oh, my God. We can have a lot of time, I can't. Uh-oh. I'm disgusted. I'm, I'm absolutely disgusted. I'm fucking crazy. I told you. I told you. Thanks, George. Shh. Please could you give the name of your oh, first nomination so and then what? explain your reasons for this nomination. You, know you must both agree on three housemates oh to face the word. public vote. <laughs> well, I see Tracy. Well, Tracy's my first. <laughs> this, yeah, my, I'd say Tracy's first. Tracy's both of our first nominations. Oh. Well, Please can you give question. a reason for this nomination? Oh. Well, my reason would be that she created a, a very oh. bad incident. Uh, which need never have arisen. Uh, she, therefore, put um, Dennis in a very difficult position. Also, she, she ostracised herself from the group and um, seems to, to be taking part less in, uh, in the kind of group mentality that we've managed to... to we've worked on, I mean, it's been... Yeah, a, it's you been worked a, on, Preston. Uh, Mm. Really thought of ourselves as, as uh, you know, th thought as of each other at a time and mm. thought of ourselves as a collective rather than thinking about whether we're going to win. And she'll often uh, comment on on the fact that it's a game, whereas I think that uh, we all try and forget that fact. And um, when it's reminded us, it makes, it makes me feel very awkward. Say something about me? I don't give a Please listen. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain your reasons for this oh, nomination? God. It's yeah. going to be you. What, where? No, you see. Please listen. What, Who do you think? Who's it out of? For me, it would be between Rula and Maggot. What? Well, Maggot said something earlier, which I would thoroughly disagree with, was oh, we were sitting down, me and Chantel. There's your mole. Very dearly. <laughs> and um, he yeah. said, let's play the Capital Cities game. Mm -hmm. And what he implied to me was, let's play that make Chantel look like a wanker game. Yeah, yeah. That's why I kept shouting the answers. I just yeah. found it really upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought it was really unnecessary. Well, if you will agree on Maggot, I'll, I'll I mean, For that reason, I'll, I'll nominate Maggot. I'm not stupid. I get it, Dennis. I get it. Could you give the name of your third and final nomination? 
Well, mine would be Rula. Um, on the basis that she's trying too hard. Uh, she, uh, in fact, said that she was now going out to win. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, hey, guys, hey, guys. When they, when they come out, when they come out, don't even, she don't she even mention it. Me yeah. With a view of canvassing votes. No, I, I, I mean, I hadn't. I hadn't really even thought about that. This is hard. This I is the. Bad. This is horrible. Finally, could you repeat the three housemates you have chosen to nominate? We've chosen to nominate Tracy, Maggot, and Ruler. You're now free to leave the diary. Oh, you fuckers. <laughs> We just tell them we'd be punished, but we're yeah, not. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. They don't know what you did. They'll be watching this. So anyway, uh, what, hey, I was yeah. saying, what I was saying about the uh, situation, yeah, so... The Celtics, they were amazing. Oh, whatever, whatever dude. Don't even go whatever. there. Right don't even go whatever. there. That's just bullshit. Whatever. Whatever. What happened? What happened? We just got punished. We were punished. Oh. And we're I'll about punished. Like, oh, boy. Well, hey, 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 guys. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, guys. You know what? Dude. Uh, let, me, let me be the boss of reason for this table. Yeah, let, 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 me, let me be the boss of reason for this table, right? Let me yeah. be the boss of reason for this table. Yeah. Since I am the strongest probably in this room. To let you guys know, dude, seriously, to let you guys know, you guys did a nice job on TV. They, they did on TV. They showed that whole thing. They showed the whole thing. They showed the whole thing. Like I said, great job, though. You didn't embarrass anybody. You spoke the truth. I respect that. So they showed the whole thing right there. They know that already. No, they don't. I no, they don't. They no, they don't. But I never said that. You voted Tracy and all that. that. No, they don't. They showed the, the whole thing okay, right there. I'm like, oh, shit. And you're like, oh, I'm sorry, Preston. It's OK. I never, ever said I was out to win. You know what? Everybody is here because they would like to have a shot at it. Well, so if you say that you're not really lying, in here because you should have pulled me up. Of course. Yeah, make that to be a wanker. So it seems that, like it's best to say, I don't want to win if you're going to get somewhere in this room. What did I say? No, I can't even remember. Like, because you're such a nice bloke and like, any, you never say bad word about anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, there was anything really bad. Not anything really bad. It's okay. Good. Him and Michael are best mates. I mean, you thought that I was trying to make it feel like a wanker and then you should have pulled me up on it. Well. That was difficult. Yeah, we no, I, I, I understand that. It's very difficult because you, you knew you were never going to be broadcast. Mm. I think it's funny. I'm just going to go with my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go straight. Wow. <laughs>it's been four minutes since Preston and George left the diary room. All that shit you was talking about, all that bullshit you was talking about. Oh, that's what I said. I said, how can you be so happy and sad at the same time? Here you got it. You was all fucking sad or whatever. It all happened here. And that's why you sat again. I'm not sad. I don't care. But like because I said, now, you, you, know I don't, you know I don't care. Because you know, if, if you didn't care, you wouldn't react to what he said up there. No, because you it was... You know, so he no, can get five words. Like, I, did. Oh, I, did. Know, I did. I did. I did. I did do that. Why? It's a shock because of... Why? Because now the production's what? trying to do this. So no, 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 no. Because, because you know what you're doing? You're putting an emotional attachment to that shit. It's like, that ain't shit but to I, me. Okay, I, great. I feel good now. It wasn't directed at you. No, I know. Totally. No, I know. I know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I feel like a fucking idiot. Well, no, you would do because you've just been broadcast. I mean, we all have to do it anyway at some point. Exactly. And, just, and it is just a game. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if you thought I was trying to make her feel like a wanker, then you should have said me. But, I know I should have said. I'm, I would have. But said, you know what? I, I would mean. have said something to you later, but I didn't know that was going to happen. I wasn't trying to humiliate you. And I've had four glasses of wine. Like, did you know the Did you know the capital of Luxembourg? No, I no, said. No, you said that on there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. all it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah. it's one of them things. It was a perfectly yeah. obvious choice. And who's that? You know. And I didn't say I anything about anybody. Nobody, nobody was going to vote Mike. Nobody was going to vote Pete. Nobody was going to vote uh, Dennis after what had happened. And you certainly wouldn't vote Chantel. So it was obvious. You know, and if we'd been in the same boat, we would have had exactly the same problem. Yeah, exactly. But the fact that it was yeah. your punishment just, seems unfair. But I was put in exactly the same situation with those fucking pants. You are right? It's OK. You know what I mean? It's just... It's one of them... It's... Well, we were in an impossible situation. Yes, of course you were. One forty-four a.m. Some of the housemates are in the living room. The rest of the housemates are in the house. Whatever. Whatever, man. 
How you feeling, George? I feel bad that it uh, was made public in the way that it was. But I, I, I don't, uh, I don't take back a single thing I said. I, I didn't say anything I don't believe. Well, you fucking want you fucking prick, fucking wanker, gosh wanker. <laughs> fucking still spouting. I'm gonna fucking brain him if he don't fucking shut his fucking mouth. Oh, it's all that. You know, fucking Dude, blah blah blah. Theatrical. Oh, for fuck's sake, George, give it a fucking rest, will you? Because I will fucking pummel his fucking head into the fucking ground if he keeps on. <laughs> if I'd told her, <laughs> at least if, you said if you nominated me, you could say something. But I didn't believe. Like, I feel that? very, very bad. It was a dirty trick, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But it was brilliant. Uh, <laughs> oh, on it's their, genius. On their point of view. Genius. The only one I regret is Maggot. I'm fed up with his fucking lip. I'm sorry. Does, in, in my opinion, there wasn't oh, room for you. a parliamentarian within the house. Quite honestly. Cheers. But then everybody and unless gave he does him put that a sock power. in here, we'll fucking let him know. I, I don't give him the power. I just don't. I just said when he comes to me, I say, you know, I talk to him. I say, hey, this, this, this. I go straight at him. But I say, if every time he, he, he starts talking, I say, oh, here's Jesse Jackson. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah Jesse, I've heard Jesse, you say that, and you're Jesse Jackson, because you, you know what I mean. Yeah, I see, and the thing is, he's in here to build his own platform to, to further his fucking cause in his but own And I think he might have made a slight <clears throat> dent in it. A slight dent? Tonight. I think he's made a massive dent in it, and I think people will fucking see. As I am the working class I'm hero, and I will prevail. <laughs> <laughs> The, the reason I feel bad about it is because I probably would have broached that issue with him, um, if not later tonight, tomorrow morning, and then it would have been, it would have been gone. And yeah. other than that, I wouldn't have, yeah. I wouldn't have thought of him for a second. I always come to the defence of people that I think are being treated me. Yeah, it's just a horrible, horrible thing. Isn't it? It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. I think you can laugh at something Chantal says. Yeah. But I don't think you should grill her. With a view, no. with a view to making a fool of her. Yeah, she's not stupid. Oh, she's yeah. not. A fool. But you know, I protect her. All the, I, I know always I know stick out for you. Me. I'm just, I'm just making the it point. Not, no, no, that's, why the, uh, that's why the maggot thing. Uh, uh, no, but I don't mean that you need. I don't mean you need protecting. Well, but I just feel me. very protective over you. I don't know why. You can protect me. Right. No, why you can protect yourself. I see you protect me. No, you can protect yourself. Two or three a.m. Most of the housemates are in the living room. To argue. This is you what they want. You don't need to tell us about yourself. Yeah, Trace, you the only reason I said you is because I'm not as close to you because you do have different tastes to me and different. But and we just happen to have not had a chat together. But Preston, I may because... have said something about you in the diary room. Yeah. But I've changed my opinion. I think you're fucking incredible. You got any fans? You're like a superstar. You're amazing. I think mm. everyone here is. You've got depth, you've got character, character, integrity, you've got all those things. I didn't get a chance to know that, and I will take it back. George, Maggot and Michael are in the kitchen. Oh, you are a mucky. George, even though for the good talk after what we had talked about, I'm still totally perplexed. What can I say, Maggot? I well... Okay, I can only say what I've said. And as I hear, you, st you still stand by your word? Yeah. Fair enough. I'm sorry that you had to hear it now rather than on Wednesday or Thursday. Well, no. But well, well that would still been the case. You still would have nominated me then? That was still held true wouldn't... in your mind that I would no. have been cruel to somebody yeah. who, mm. when everyone went to bed, mm. and in conversation with me, mm. You had said was daft as a brush. Yeah, I've said it to our face, she's daft as a brush. Fair enough. But there's a difference between laughing at things she said and... Totally taking the piss out of her in front of her face, which I wasn't doing in the first well, place. No, if you ask me... So what, you a backstabber you, behind people's backs, if you, you? If you? Hang on a minute, are you still a backstabber behind people's backs? No. Um, are you still a backstabber when people go to bed? No. There's a difference between laughing at someone hmm. and embarking upon a process to make them make a fool of themselves. OK, which you thought I was doing. I did. Which was wrong. Well, well which you think view. But was your view. Somebody in this house said, you know, people react to something that somebody said ten minutes ago or an hour ago, and that person was you. And that was me. Indeed it was. So, I, was I merely did what you yourself stated would be the process from now on. 
Yeah. Very true. But I, and I also if, think... If I was to nominate tomorrow or the next day, I wouldn't have nominated you. Anyway, besides what I said before, I think you're you know, a good man. Well, I think blah, blah. the same about you. Stands up for your... Thanks, Becky. Stands up for your principles and all the rest of it. I still respect you for that. Two thirty-two a.m. Ruler is asleep. Maggot, oh, Michael, and oh, Dennis yeah, are in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dan. Hey. Dan, I don't know where you're going, but I need you in there. You've got to control her in there, Tracy. Man. I ain't controlling Tracy. Tracy's just stupid. <laughs> just stupid. The rest of the housemates are in the living room. Peter, I love you. Thank you. What so you don't love I? me, you like me. You can't I like believe, you. No, no. I love you, darling. You I like you. <laughs> you like me. You love your boyfriend. You probably love his money a whole lot more. No, I like his... I no, you probably like his money a whole lot more. I don't like... I like my own money. Yeah, I'm sure you do, but one day your day will be over. You've I got a short shelf life. You've got a short shelf life. I don't black down crack, but ultimately you get dusty air. <laughs> do you think anyone, <laughs> when you go for a casting, sees past your knockers? I don't, because I can't see I past them when you stand up. I most of the up. jobs I go out on, because I know how to cover them up and show them. I so don't... what you do, wear a fucking tent. In a tent? You wear a tent. You know what? Your whole culture, everything <laughs> you come from, everything you aspire to be, is repugnant to me. But underneath it, I think you're kind of a nice girl, potentially. But I think you have a huge misuse of words. I love your shoes. I love your hair. I love your makeup. I love my boyfriend. You like my shoes. You like my hair. And, and then you come you to me. Like and then you, you go, are? no, you like. You don't know me. You're not even qualified to like me. Oh. You've got no right to like me. Okay. You know fuck all about me. Okay. I'm smarter than you. I'm sure you are. I let you Maybe know. Maybe a little bit, exactly. not that I'm much. Exactly, I'm fucking way smarter than you, hon. But you're, you're witty. I will give you that. You're a very witty man. What mood elevator are you on? What mood what? Elevator. What are you on? I'm not on anything. You're on something. On... Because the other day you were miserable and now you're happy again. Who are you to say that I'm happy? You seem, like, happy and full of life. I'm full of life because I just want to get out of this place and I can't believe the absolute diarrhea that's like dripping you. That's from your mouth. You're not leaving anywhere because they like you. No, they hate me. They keep me here because it's You're here because they like you. I was nominated again. Not you. Me, Rula, and Maggot. Not you again. Me. Because I think you desperately need help and you're with the wrong therapist. <laughs> oh, wow. Are you in a therapy? Session? I wouldn't dream. What fool can tell me what I'm about better than me? That's not. Mm. I need someone else's perspective of what I'm about. Sorry, bitch. Sometimes you do. No, nah, I don't. You just call me a female dog. I know the meaning of the word bitch. It was just black terminology. It's fundamentally your kind of language. Wow. Okay. So I don't need to pay somebody $150 an hour to talk to them and hear about me. $150,000. $150 an hour, maybe. $150 an hour. Hmm. I don't think you ever paid that to speak to your therapist, actually. Fucking hell. What's that? Pete's just gone completely mental. I don't know. Oh, he just called a whore black horse <laughs> what? Yes, oh, okay. Pete's just gone mental. What, what? He's just telling Tracy that she needs therapy and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't, I can't even laugh. Yeah, I'm going to have another one. I can't even laugh. It's gone beyond that point. I was just God like, damn. I had to get out of there. I, couldn't, I felt so uncomfortable in there. Yeah, insensate of nausea. Oh, and so are you. Pete. I'm not insincere. But in a good way, though. In a good way. I'm not insincere. You never get past the makeup. Makeup too. That's what I'm saying. You don't get past my makeup. But then take it off. Let's take Why it the off. fuck should I? I like it. I like it too. Well, great. You like it, right? Terminology, correct. You like it. You don't love it. But I say that to my friends, my cousins, You're a liar. my niece and nephews. I'm not a liar. You're a liar. Pete, I love you. You, get... <laughs> you know what? You can kiss my fucking raw hemorrhoids. You don't <laughs> even know me. <laughs> You're just fundamentally a fucking L.A. whore. Thank you. I love you, big daddy. Oh, 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 I love your big car and your money. And anyway, that distracted you from the other issue. What was the other issue? Did you say something wrong? 
I, I'm just a simple boy from Newport in South Wales. I, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm done with her. I know, I know. I've wiped the wall with her. I know, here you go. What have you been up to? <laughs> just attack Tracy for the hell of it. No, I know, just fuck, <laughs> just fuck away with it. There's a language thing going on here. Don't get upset. Well, get upset if you want, if you feel better. No, I'm, I'm not fine. I'm not, I'm just... <clears throat> I'm just different, I guess. I guess I'm just different from we're, everybody. In we're, the world. No, we're all different. Mm. I mean, I'd like That's to why they about, chose us. I would like to learn more about your knowledge. I don't have your knowledge. I haven't been where you've been. Maggot, ruler, and Tracy face eviction from the celebrity Big Brother house. Who goes? You decide. To evict Maggot, call 090-113306. To evict Ruler, call 090-113310. To evict Tracy, call 090-113311. Or text the name of the housemate you want to evict to 84444.